Greetings everyone and welcome back to Two Point Hospital after a little bit of a break. Those of you who are also following my Graveyard Keeper series know that uh, recently I got a little bit behind with my recordings because I decided to take a me day and uh, go out with some friends for a meal and I really didn't uh, appreciate just how much that would put me behind on my work. Wow, yeah, live and learn. But in today's episode, we are back and we are going to Flemington, somewhere that, uh, well, I mean, it's apparently quite wealthy. So you can probably expect that I'm going to be putting my prices up because I am. Right, let's go and find out what Flemington has to offer. Now, the name itself doesn't, well, I mean, I guess Flemington does kind of give us a bit of an idea of what might be going on, though it could just be a general name for the town. Uh, f welcome to Flemington, a wealthy town where the people have more money than sense. I think we could make a killing here, pardon the expression, if we can get ourselves a marketing li Ooh, marketing! Oh, that's going to be very interesting. We can use marketing campaigns to improve our reputation, attract more patients, and recruit better staff. I suggest we focus our research and marketing on an illness that has been plaguing the area for a while. Animal magnetism. Uh, okay. Alright, this part of the country is quite cold. We'll need to put down some radiators to keep it warm. Very well, I think we can make that happen. Alright, let's pause things and have a quick look around. Okay, we've got a nice sizable place to start with. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six other plots. My lord. It's going to be quite a large area, to be fair. Quite a large area. Okay, well, we've got an, a lovely little... Uh, spot in here to start with as well. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Right. We're probably going to want reception around here somewhere. Uh, I would like it if we could have a decent sized reception. Yeah, something like this I think would be quite good for us. And then we can have two receptionist desks at the front. It's, I might draw it back just a wee bit, just so that we're not uh, causing our um, first patients to linger at the front there. Now, we want a printer as well, obviously. No reception is, is complete without a printer. Also get a couple of uh, filing cabinets down. Charity box, naturally. Not that one there. Uh, we will get. Mm, we could just go for a, a regular size radiator, but honestly, I think a mini radiator should be adequate for what we want. We'll have a coffee machine. About there, along with a little sweet machine. Just to keep people from getting too hungry. That'll be fine. Uh, she got a golden flower vase. Fancy. I think uh, yes is what I think. I think yes. So the fancy flower vase. Um, and we'll have a couple of these at the back here. Uh, we are also going to go for we're actually going to move these along a little bit then pop down a regular plant in the middle. Something like that. Should look lovely. Only we want it back a little bit. There we go. And we can slide these in a little bit more. Sort of. And sort of slide them in a little bit more. Maybe this one could go a little bit on this side. There we go. It's important to get things in, in the proper balance, you see. Uh, do we want anything else at the back? We've already got a radio, so we don't really need another one. Uh, we could just pop down as many of these as we possibly can. Just to get this room looking a little bit better. Literally want to. And I see no specific reason not to, really. There we go. It's only Prestige 3, but I think it'll do. Pop. There we are. Right, our reception area needs an assistant. That is quite true, it does. Uh, the most uh, important thing, though, is to make sure it's warm enough. We'll get to assistance shortly. Well, I suppose we could do it as we go. Uh, hygienic and natural mentor makes accidental eye contact with... Ah, there, we can forgive it. I think. 
has potential, so Chitta suffers from spontaneous bouts of snoozing. But they are charm. Um, I'll grab you. And I might well grab Tex as well, honestly. Sure, Tex. There you go. We'll get two of you straight off the bat. Right, we're also going to want a janitor now because we have got already got a, a plant. Inspiring, Green Fingers has objectively bad opinions. Jill Pilchard. The fact that you can already deal with ghosts, you're hired. I, I just I just need someone who can. After not having someone for quite some time in the last uh, hospital, yes. Very tempting. Very tempting. Indoor fountain. Wow. All it takes to make your hospital more like a Victorian garden. I mean... Oh, but there are so many things I could buy. There's so many wonderful things that, that I could buy instead. Ah, oh, but I really want that now. Uh, gift shop celebrating a loss, mourning a recovery. There's something for every occasion. That is so remarkably grim. We'll hold off on that, but I'm definitely leaning in favor of getting ourselves a uh, a gift shop, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and pop the door down there. I really, really wish I could get uh, my windows to be slightly off-center. I would love to be able to do that, but uh, alas, it doesn't seem be something that is going to be happening for us for quite some time. Pop the wing skills there, we will... You know what? I'm going to largely have these outside rather than inside the rooms. Uh, I just don't think they're particularly useful at the moment on the inside of rooms. I mean, they do help with the overall room prestige, but outside of that, not as useful as one might think have a lamp right about there. Now, let's go ahead and get a rug down. A bit, and then uh, switch to prettiness. Oh, that's actually a very pretty one. Lovely. Now, in here, we would like quite a few medicine cabinets, honestly. Now, we could just go all out with these if we really wanted to. But as much as they are useful, even that seems excessive to me. We'll go with it this once, but it does seem excessive. I think two is, is pretty much my my limit when it comes to those kinds of buildings in like a GP's office. Yeah, we'll pop that there. Now, we are going to want a gold star certificate behind the doctor that can remind everyone just how amazingly important they are. We'll have a regular certificate there. Um, let's go with a lightheadedness poster. Possibly on this wall as well, we'll have anatomy and food pyramid. Now I'm hopeful this will make this room incredibly pretty. Yes, it does. Marvellous. With very, very little uh, janitor draining items. Janitor time draining items. Now then, uh, in terms of heat, if I were to place this there, it would make this room, or this area, quite warm. Yeah, it's going to slowly cook my, uh, my assistance. Rip assistance. Was there anything I wanted to purchase in here? Anything I could purchase? Nothing particular that jumps out at me. I mean, that is a, a nice one, I suppose. Um, we're going to hold off, though, I think. Right, so, outside we are going to want at least one or two benches just to allow people who are waiting for the GP to have somewhere nice to sit down. We will place down a games console or a gaming cabinet there uh, we want I'm gonna say no we've got all the primary um, 
premium, sorry, uh, food and drink. So we'll go with moose juice and jumbo nuts. Can you slide that over a little bit? We can. Uh, I'm not sure that that's specifically going to help. I don't think I can fit a pin in there. Oh, I can! Wow. That is actually quite impressive, honestly. I was not expecting that. Alright, in terms of prettiness, though, not a pretty area, this. And that is not particularly good. What we could do is go for something really overpoweringly pretty. Right there. That does a good bit of work, but still doesn't quite help in this area. So what I'm going to do... If I edit this... Should be able to just slide the whole building back. Womp. Yes. Oh, that is going to be funny. I'm just going to unpause it just to see that. Ah, oh, glorious. Thank you. Thank you. That was that was amazing. Everything I could have hoped for. You are awesome. Right, now, continuing on with the beautification. Let's go with... See, if I were to possibly move these around. Like, for example, if I pop, pop the moose juice over here instead and had another bin over here, then what I could do on this side is have some th some beautification in the corner. I think that might be worth doing. Let's go with a nice bit of artwork. And maybe even move the gaming cabinet down here as well. Yeah. And then we could have a poster. Or maybe just a, a pretty picture right there. There we are. We'll have a not particularly water hungry plant. Maybe even two. Do something like this. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, this is coming together. Quite nicely, I must say. Quite nicely. I would like a magazine stand there. We'll go with... Um, a billboard. And perhaps in this corner we'll have a telephone as well. Okay, that's awesome. So that's our first 3P. Probably going to want more than, than one to start with, but... Let's just see what we can do first. We haven't got any particularly good GPs, though. Class Clown, generally dubious. Okay, that doesn't actually mean anything. Unmotivated, terribly dull, has potential. Right arm, fast, medium. Uh, no idea what that means. Now, straight off the bat, you're not a bad psychiatrist. In fact, you're quite a good psychiatrist. And you're also sort of okay with, with uh, diagnostics. It's going to cost me... 10,000 to hire you, and then 50,000 to pay you. That is quite a lot of money. But I think it is probably worth it ultimately. Let's go with a, a second GP right from the onset, though. And this doctor can be right facing forward. It's going to be glorious. Right, in terms of medicine cabinets, on there. Here and filing cabinet in between, but twixt. There we are, lovely. Uh, right, we'll grab the rug. Honestly, the rug alone makes a doctor's office quite pretty. Just that by itself that goes a long way towards uh, achieving all that you need in terms of the office's uh, prestige, which is. Fairly impressive, really. Pop the lamp over here. Oh, it's just not shining in the patient's eyes. It's not shining in the doctor's eyes. Maybe, maybe make them forget where they actually are. There we are. We'll grab a regular radiator. Pop it down there. In fact, not sure we need a regular radiator. Let's go with a small one. We do want a coffee machine. Once again, I want my doctors to be constantly buzzed. Yeah. And over here we will have a jest infection poster, a lightheadedness poster, and 
any other types of posters? We don't have any other types of posters. That's a little bit upsetting, but... I guess the final thing can be a doggo painting. Well, no, it can't be. I guess we can have a doggo painting one day. That should be an absolutely beauteous wound. In fact, it is, yes. Glorious. That is a not... No, these are not sufficient. Okay. Well, it was worth trying, in my opinion. There they are. That's way better. And we'll do the same over here. There we go. Once again, we're going to want two benches outside. One and two. There we are. Now, this one, not super pretty over there. So, I think... Sure, all right. We're going to... Uh, no, that's 400. And that is 1,200. We can't place it yet, but it's something I would very, very, very much like to place. So... We'll hold off for now, I think, or at least we'll try. Perhaps what we could do instead, we'll be rid of that particular bench, pop you there, and get a food pyramid right there as well. There we go. That pretties things up a little bit more. Okay, with that done, I feel that it's safe to, to open. Uh, we are going to want one more doctor though. Uh, we're gonna be going with you. You are. You've got a. You're very good at treatment. Uh, you're not specifically good in this role, but we will be uh, moving on now. What well, type of people are we likely to get first? Almost certainly the first people that we're gonna be getting are going to want. Um, well, we cook up a pharmacy first. Yeah, I think so. I think so. One, two, three. Yeah, we could have one, two, three, and then have a double wide corridor in the middle. Oh, that's going to be good. I approve. Um, with that in mind, let's not go with a pharmacy there, then. Let's go with... We could, in fact, go straight to General Diag. Caution. Probably Always wise. Proceed with caution. I think General Diag is, by and large, a better room to have extra space. Okay, I'm going to uh, conceal you behind two medicine cabinets. That seems appropriate for a uh, general diagonal room. We will get a uh, radiator there. I I very nearly almost called it a wall heater. Which, I, I mean, it's true. It does, in fact, heat the wall. That's not really what it's trying to do. It's more of a more of an accidental bonus. It even it is a bonus at all. I visited a sick friend who has taken the foolish decision to check himself into one of Holistic's nature communes. Oh no. Called me old fashioned, but patients are supposed to be treated by doctors in hospitals, not have leaves rubbed on them by druids. I I mean I, I can't say that I would necessarily complain. That does sound actually quite pleasant. But they're not they're not coming to our hospital, which is which is the part that I, I don't quite agree with. Uh, let's go for a cupboard. And absolutely yes. We could be making this a bit better with more with more medicine cabinets. I I just I I am always going to favour things looking better than being more efficient. And that's just something you're gonna have to accept. Right, there we are, it's warm enough. And no, it's not actually that pretty. Could make it a bit pretty, I suppose, by doing this. Come with me. What? I. You're a wizard! <gasps> My lord! Your secret's safe with me. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be putting this on the internet. Ah, oh, your secret is totally not safe with me. Ah, oh, I've already betrayed your your secret. I'm sorry, but everyone knows now. Much sad, but oh well. Too late, too late to complain now. Uh, I feel a little bit bad for you though. Right, okay. This Is hospital actually does not offer monetary support. I, I need patience. I possibly also need patience, but no. Yeah. Uh, right. Do we. Yeah. I think this is quite fine to do. I think it's, it's quite acceptable. We will be having 
two windows looking out on the world. Uh, let's turn that off for now. There we've got someone coming in. Oh, fantastic. Because, you know, hospital costs money. Quite a lot. My hospital is unfortunately quite expensive. I can't place it there until I've actually finalized the wall, unfortunately. Uh, that's fine, I suppose. Uh, right, so. We're going to want a coffee machine. Definitely going to want this as well. So that my uh, staff have plenty of noms to will help them to avoid having uh, becoming hangry or any any such thing should they be here for a while because I do tend to like to uh, reduce their their break time I, I mean a little bit okay I'm not I'm not a mean boss I just feel that you know going on break for 20 days in a row is a little bit excessive you know, me, I just I just want you to do more work that's all or rather I want you to do some work pretty much uh, right let's get uh, some art in here can I squeeze that in I really wish I could I really wish I could squeeze art in above a fire extinguisher and it's put back in that I can't I can put it there though which is a little bit odd in and of itself uh, let's go for Nurse so with a nice certificate there and all oh, right we'll have a I have a notice board on this one as well. There we go. Let's have a quick look. Is that warm enough? Is it bright? Is it uh, nice enough? Yes, it is right. Nurses! Let's have a look at you. Ties easily. Thinks their lives are on com. Hygienic. You are hired. Uh, next up. Inspiring. Hates surplus aunts. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Skips ropes with abandon. Oh, I'm tempted to take you despite your ties easily you're very good though <sighs> despite your ties easily trait you're hired not exactly the best but uh, okay uh, unfortunately you are not particularly well diagnosed today there. I would like to introduce a new segment which I call two points of view uh, in it okay. I will give you two rather different points of view Very on well. a contentious subject so for example view A could be this is a rather fine idea for a segment whereas view B would then be this segment is an embarrassing waste of time um, stay tuned for more of these controversial debates next week Let me know in the comments below whether you feel that that segment is a rather embarrassing waste of time or not. Uh, I, I feel that's a little bit harsh myself, but uh, I'm open in, I'm, I'm open to to dissenting opinion. Uh, right. I should I, sh I should really say different opinions, but uh, no dissenting opinions. Don't dissent. Let's pop you about there. I think psychiatry makes a lot of sense. Getting that in early. <sighs> Got potty mouth. I believe that is something they can already take care of. Right, now then. We've definitely got some nice things in the grab in here. <sighs> yes, we're gonna get this. I know that that's what now locked me out or something. But I was actually quite rather hoping to get. But Come on, it's a fireplace. How could I say no to that? I can't. That's the answer. I can't say no to it. Um, but what I can do now is uh, I can pop that there. I have a little screen. Pop this here. It's going to look great. This is going to be an absolutely amazing room. But... That screen is not for my not for my uh, my patients. No, 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 no. That is for the privacy of my doctor, so they can go back there and they can grab some snacks and some coffee without letting the patient know that snacks and coffee are available. Ha ha! Take that, patient. All right, there we go. Let's get some more items in place. We do want to try and expedite um, treatment. That is very much a thing that we want to do. Have that over there as well. Uh, we could have a medicine cabinet, maybe. Plants need water. 
But at this point, let's go ahead and put down the important ones, which is obviously the chair. And the couch. I've had some people um, suggesting I do all sorts of crazy things and uh, pointing me in the direction of other, other YouTubers who tend to like make mazes of medicine cabinets in their rooms. And I said, I appreciate the utility of it. Don't get me wrong, I understand why they're doing it. I just think I would sooner stab myself in the eye with screwdrivers. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but no. I would literally stop playing the game if I found myself possessed of the of the of the desire to cheese the system so heavily and also make something so disgustingly awful looking. You do you. I'm not going to say you can't. Uh, what would be the point? I, ca I can't actually uh, influence you in any way. If, that, if that's what you want to do, you're already far beyond my help. But, oh my lord, I can put that above it. That's amazing. But no. Earthquake, I will still. never do Trouble something like that. Ends meet. It's just not happening. <laughs> right, there Need we go. Some extra dough. Call Smell My Cash. Ah, uh, no. Because an 80% interest repayment rate is that nothing to sniff at. good enough. Smell my this cash. This should make it good enough. There we go. Nice one. The desperate solution. Perfect. I mean, it's not perfect, actually, because uh, someone is waiting. I need my psychiatrist in there. Markstar. Marvelous. I mean, it's not marvelous that you've got Markstar. Uh... I have no idea what you've got. You have got... Diagnosis certainty is 84%. Have we got our psychiatrist on the way? That would be you. A little bit of a concern that you're not on the way. Unmotivated, terribly dull. Funny, positive, likes to argue. I mean... No, 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 no. Motivated, I approve. Let's grab you. Because the very next thing that we're going to be building is fluid analysis. Now, that being said, an injector room would be quite nice as well. We'll go with fluid analysis for now. Right, let's have a look outside. Outside is doing very well. Fluid analysis, right about there, please. Grab this. Now, I think so, yes. We're going to have some powerful servers in this room to help with uh, with stealing all of the information from this machine and diagnosing patients without having to do too much work. Marvellous. Okay, you get in there and uh, make them very happy, hopefully. Pop that down there. Um, let's see. Do I really want to pop a pop machine in here? I do. Yes. There we go. You can have that. Do I want to give you a seat as well? I, I want to do that as well. I'm in a very giving mood right now. Starting with seats. There we go. I would also like a certificate above your head whilst you're sat in the seat. There we go. That'll do. Please be aware. Not being aware costs lives. It's true. It's true. We're going to pop down a gold star certificate for this machine. And in the corner, over on the far side, um, we're going to sneakily pop in a Rorschach poster. It's going to distract them from what's about to happen to them. They'll, they'll be too, they'll be too uh, distracted by, oh, but I wonder, hmm, what do I see? I see, uh, oh, my arm, oh, why, no, the, da. Ah will be more or less what goes to their mind. But it'll be too late by then. Oh, there we are. I wonder, can I put servers in this room? I can't. Uh, a shame. A shame. But I'll go. Quite a few of our staff have training slots. Yeah, indeed they do. Now, is that particularly cold? No, it's not actually that cold. Right, how's everything going, my peoples? Hopefully quite well. 
Hello, 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 hello. Ricky. Ricky Hawthorne is back on Two Point Radio. I hope you've missed me as much as I've missed you. Oh, I have missed you, Ricky. It's true. I've missed your ever, ever optimistic ways. That there as well. Uh, over on this side, I think we can probably afford to get some items to uh, alleviate my patient's boredom. That, in an area which is in a waiting area, though, doesn't seem to make as much sense. Uh, let's pop that down. Well, we'll also have a little super kit. You know what? Sure. Okay, you you can have some sweets. Free sweets. Don't make me regret this. Don't make me regret it. Uh, I mean, this is a very wealthy area, okay? They can probably afford to buy everything. I, I think they do actually pay a little bit for the sweets. It's not free, I don't think. But even if it were, I think I'd put it there because the, the thing with especially wealthy people is they appreciate free things as much as anyone else. It, it's not about the fact that they could afford to buy it. It's the fact that they've had, it, it's about the fact that they don't want to as much as the next person. Uh, right, let's have a quick check on my doctors though. Queen fingers, funny things. Their life is a rom com. Bad a treatment. Ah, I really, really want someone to help out with uh, with general practice, but you'll do for now. Let's have a quick look. What kind of waiting queues have we got? Nothing too much right now. We haven't got a very big reputation, nor have we got a very high level, so we're managing our queues quite well. Right now, though, the only thing we can cure is something to do with psychiatry or pharmacy. But that's all right on the whole, I would say. I would, I would say that's not terribly bad. We could have some uh, a seat over here, I suppose. It's quite pretty there at the moment. And uh, sure, okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and pop down a seat. M maybe right beneath this painting. I could put it behind the window, uh, behind the windows, but I'm not entirely sold on that. I think that's enough. We don't need more seating than this right now. But I think that's actually where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. We've made a good start. We've actually got a lot of diagnosis power as it stands. We've got two GPs, one um, general diagnosis, a fluid analysis, which is a very potent method of uh, diagnosis, and a psychiatrist who can also diagnose. Furthermore, in terms of treatment, we have got the... Um, the pharmacy and I'm really sorry about this I'm so no sorry ravaging. this is gonna suck so much but uh, we've got psychiatry and we've got uh, a pharmacy oh I I've not seen that one before oh that's so much better than the alternative you've no idea how big a bullet you just dodged oh what oh no no ah uh, ah uh, oh, I'm so sorry no I'm it seems to be broken Please, please stop the pain. Stop the pain. Ah, uh, no, th th this is bad to even look at. That's like all of their blood. Oh my goodness. Uh, pandemic emergency. I would like to take it, but we're not going to right now. So no. And tax agree. A junior assistant is request for us. Uh, okay. I've always wanted to see a large sum of money. I am. I'm not sure we're going to be able to achieve that one with our hospital as small as it is right now. I'm so sorry, by the way. But, uh, yes, that's where we're going to be leaving this episode. I hope you're looking forward to the next, where probably one of the first things we're going to do is build a, uh, a restroom and a staff room, as well as some more treatment rooms, because I suspect we're not actually going to need uh, to go for extra diagnosis rooms for a little while because of just how good the fluid accelerator is. Well, that's it for me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone. Now that's the kind of song I like to listen to when I'm out jogging every morning. I like to run down lower bullocks as fast as I can until I fall to the ground. Good thing there's a few hospitals nearby.